Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. In today's session, we are going to see about dramatic reading. What is dramatic reading? Dramatic reading is nothing but a expressive reading of a literature or a poem. So, there are few things that we have to be very careful while doing a dramatic reading. Those are the punctuation. Now, we are going to see how to read a sentence with the different punctuations. So, the first punctuation is going to be full stop. Whenever a sentence has a full stop, we are going to stop before proceeding to the next sentence. For example, I like cats. I also like dogs. So whenever there is a full stop in a sentence, we are going to stop before proceeding to the next sentence. The next punctuation will be comma. So whenever there is a comma in a sentence, we are going to pause before proceeding to proceeding the sentence. For example, the pet store has cats, dogs, fish and turtles. So whenever there is a comma, we are going to pause before proceeding. The next uh, punctuation will be exclamation mark. So whenever there is an ex exclamation mark in a sentence, we are going to emphasize on the word that is near the exclamation mark with excitement. For example, I won the race. I'm very happy. Hooray! So whenever there is an exclamation mark, we are going to emphasize on the last word with excitement. The next punctuation will be question mark. So whenever a sentence has a question mark, we are going to emphasize on the first word. For example, where are you from? What are you doing? Who is your teacher? So whenever there is a question mark, we are going to emphasize on the first word. So these are the few things that we have to be very careful while doing a dramatic reading. Now let's get into the story. Today's story is going to be about Froby and his friends taking a hike to Honeycomb Hill. Let's get into the story. A hiking we will go. A hiking we will go to climb a hill like Jack and Jill. A hiking we will go. Ouch! Mushi and Kaku could never get a tune right. It bothered Froppy. He didn't feel like dancing. Then Froppy saw Honeycomb Hill. It looked lovely and golden and good enough to eat. This hike was going to be fun. Froppy's bells went ding ding diga in excitement. Now Froppy felt like dancing. My wings go hum, hum, hum. My heart goes drum, drum, drum. We are singing a different song, Froppy, said Mushi. Froppy sighed, huh? Maybe he could dance another time. It wasn't easy getting to Honeycomb Hill. On the way, they had to cross a rushing river. I wish I could row harder. But my arms are so tired, said Mushi. Kaku stepped in and said, Don't worry, Mushi. I'll pull the boat. And Robbie said, I will push it. And they finally crossed the river. And they had to crawl through the tunnel. The tunnel was very dark. And Mushi was scared. And Mushi asked, how are we going to cross this tunnel? It is so dark. And Musumi said, Don't worry, Mushi. I have my headlamps on. And they crawled through the tunnel. And later, they had to walk up a long jungle path. I think I hear a tiger cuckoo, said Mushi, trembling. Scared. It's only my stomach growling, Mushi, said Kaku. And Froppy said, Yes, I'm starving too. Mushi said, Don't worry at all. I have packed lunch for all. 
and they sat and ate the lunch together and started walking forward. A hiking we will go, a hiking we will go to climb a hill like Jack and Jill. A hiking we will go. Here we are, said Robby. Now, all we need to do is climb it. You are so lucky, Kaku. Robby's wings can't take him so high. But you can fly to the top like a rocket, said Mushi. But that's no fun, Mushi. I would rather climb with all of you, said Kaku. This made everyone happy. They went, hooray! Kaku, you're the best! And they started walking. They shuffled sideways on the narrow bits. Step carefully, everyone. Step carefully, said Lizuli. And they skipped along the little flat bits. And they started singing again. A hiking we will go. A hiking we will go. And what happened? They slid down the slippery beats. Whee! This is really steep, said Froby. And there is no rock to hook our ho rope onto. And Lizzie came forward and said, This is a job for Lizzie. And Lizzie took a rope, tied it around her waist, and started climbing. Kaku cheered Lizzie. Go Lizzie! Oh hoo! Go Lizzie! Oh hoo! And they all climbed together. And finally, they reached the top. What a wonderful view! Thanks, Froppy. You think so much of fun things for us to do, said Lizzie. It was your hard work that got us up here, Lizzie, said Froppy. Yes, and Mushi's yummy food, said Kaku. And Kaku's company, said Mushi. Robbie smiled and said, When you work together with your friends, even the hardest things become the funniest things. His wings hummed, his feet tapped, a song began in his throat. My wings go hum, hum, hum. My heart goes drum, drum, drum. My feet goes ting, ting, ting. My bell goes ding, ding, ding. And Froby, the frog bee, got his chance to dance. And everybody danced together and enjoyed the view. Thank you everyone. Let's meet in the next session. Until then, stay home, stay safe and take care. Thank you.